Hello everyone, this is Prashant from Tech Madness and in today's video we are going to see uh, yet another feature of uh, Audacity tool. So just to give you a brief idea of this Audacity tool. So this is free open source cross platform software. So what do you mean by cross platform is like available on the Mac, Linux and Windows operating system for recording and editing the sound. To start with a small feature of this tool how to record and how to give a background music to your own recording okay so i'll start with how to record so as you might have already guessed there is a red button that means it is for starting a recording right so let me press that and as you have seen that while i'm talking the recording is already started and this blue uh, wavelength is coming up as as i'm speaking okay so I think uh, this is pretty much uh, okay that uh, uh, this is like enough more than enough recording uh, I already have done it for giving a background voice uh, to the my recording okay so let me stop the recording okay bring the cursor back to the zero okay so my recording is uh, there uh, let me play the recording so that you can hear it without music and uh, you can see the difference once we add the music to this track is that and as you have seen that while I'm talking, the recording is already started and this blue uh, wavelength is right. I mean, the recording is very clean. There is no background uh, uh, voice or something like that. So this software take, takes uh, care of uh, pretty, uh, pretty much for uh, all the things. OK, so uh, if you have the, the background music already, uh, what you can do, you can just drag the file so i have these three files so i'm dragging it dragging it uh, to the the empty space on the uh, on the audacity window okay as you have seen already uh, this the length of the background music is pretty much more than the my recording you can keep as is or if you really want okay you don't want to have this because finally you will be having a new file with your recording and your background music you can just select it and you can delete whatever selection you have done okay so pretty much easy right so again bring the cursor back to the zero and let's hear how uh, this is coming with background music now is that and as you have seen that while i'm talking the recording is already started and right i think the 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 volume of the music was uh, too much louder than the recording so let me just uh, bring that back to the 26 uh, according to your need you can keep it uh, and let's play it again is that and as you have seen that while I'm talking the recording is already started and this blue uh, wavelength is coming up as as I'm speaking right I mean now this is like perfectly uh, made professionally made recordings right so I think you got an idea how you can give the background music to the uh, existing recording so you can do the export to the mp3 wave or any other uh, audio for format uh, whatever you want and you can save these projects uh, for later use so that you if you want to modify something uh, from it uh, maybe you want to change the music track or you can lower the the volume of this track or something like that so you can save that so i think this was pretty much basic uh, feature of this uh, audacity tool but i think it was uh, very important because sometimes you know life brings you at a point you might need to do anything like this